What's up, Trey Two Man? Welcome back to another video with your boy Trey Dub. And today, we got another paternity court video, man. As y'all know, man, whoever been like keep up with my channel every day, I took a break for a few days because I got real sick. I don't know, I had like the flu or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But we back with another video, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna let that stop the grind, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, we about to hop right into this goddamn video. <laughs> Party, and I actually did my baby call. A sex toy party. How does that make you feel, Jerome? Running over there. That, <laughs> I did a lot of parties. I don't remember. Bro, why he look like Charlie Wilson? The whole time, my I just knew that I was pregnant for my ex. Until the baby was born. I have no uh -huh. question of ever having a sexual encounter with this man. You had no idea about the pregnancy or you lying. Well, you don't even remember. You're leaning so forward. I'm no, you lying. So. <laughs> Why are you so excited? Let's get it. Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Reynolds versus Fleeton. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Hey. Ms. Reynolds, you claim you have known since the day your daughter was born, Mr. Fleeton is her biological father. You are here with your daughter, oh. hoping when today's results... I don't understand why people wait 18, 20, 30 years to find out if the child is theirs or not. I don't get it why the mom or the dad will even allow that. But hey, man. Reveal the truth. Know, I don't know it the situation. It will help so build that father-daughter bond she has always dreamed of. Is that correct? It's yes, a bit too late Mr. For Fleeton, you say you have no recollection of ever having an intimate relationship with Ms. Reynolds, and therefore it is impossible for you to be her daughter's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Reynolds, uh, what was the nature of your relationship with the defendant? We didn't have a relationship. I met him at a uh, sex toy party, uh -huh. and he was the he was the stripper. Uh -huh. He was the entertainment. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. And we didn't have any uh, action at that Charlie. time. But maybe a week later, <laughs> we were at a popular club in our city, and um, he was there, and he was dancing, not entertaining, just dancing. And um, I was there, and I actually did my mating call. That's a damn duck call, fuck you mean. Coyote call, fuck you mean. Later, or maybe a week or so, he gave me a call after hours. Booty calling out. Yeah. Um, hey, bro. He said he was gonna come through, and he did. He slid through. Hey. <laughs> For all the guys, man, y'all know, y'all know. Hey, man. We all done been there. We all done, you know what I'm saying? It be them nights. Hey, y'all know. I ain't even gotta. <laughs> Okay, maybe about five times I can remember three exactly. They Damn. came over to my home, booty calling hours. I didn't know she airing him out. He like, damn, we said we wasn't going. What was his favorite color? Every day, you know, we didn't go out or anything like that. It was always booty call. So, Mr. Fleet, that's how it's supposed to be. Do you remember sleeping with Ms. Ryan? No, ma'am, I have no <coughs> recollection Ty. of ever lying. Had a sexual encounter with this man. Ha! I'm unforgettable. Ha! Well, do you remember her mating call? Hit that one more time. <laughs> do you remember hearing that one night? <laughs> no, Bill. He lied. So you don't remember he being lied. intimate with Ms. Reynolds? He can't even, not even, he can't even no, say it with a straight I was face. one of her daughter's friends, and she recognized me. And Wait. I'm sorry. No disrespect, babe. No disrespect. But like I say, today I'm here to find out if I'm Keisha's biological father. Yeah, it's not even about so the it's not even about their relationships, it's about the daughter. 
Y'all not here because of that. Take a look at the picture, yeah. Mr. Fleeton, of Ms. Reynolds. Do you remember a woman look like that? Baby D. No, you no, ain't no. gonna catch me as usual, Have baby you ever D. Have had sex with somebody and then <laughs> didn't remember it? I remember all my sexual encounters. Uh, he lying. He lying. So can you Unless you only had sex with my body, you lying. When you found out you were pregnant, Ms. Reynolds. Well, when I became pregnant, I was with my ex at that time because we were on and off. And at the time that I had an encounter with Mose, me and my ex was off. Wait, what's this? And um, we had gotten back together. So um, the whole time I just knew that I was pregnant. Look, the daughter, my like, ex bro, we're not here for this. Until the baby was born. She came out snow white without the doors, okay? <laughs> with these green brownish color eyes sandy brown hair and I said oh my god <laughs> for the first nine months of her life I didn't even take pictures I didn't want no one to see her I kept her covered up if I went out in That's public they, let sleep. me see your baby no nope, she covered up nope she's asleep I wouldn't let no one see her because you were I had already convinced my ex that this was his child, and I, we moved on. He was okay it's with it. He was okay with it. But I knew. Well, you know that skin color varies. Yes. And people want to base so much on the color of the skin yeah. of the baby. Mm -hmm. yeah, when you exactly. know genetics can bring us a rainbow of yeah. shades. And that's how I was able to convince my ex because he has some. Y'all both stupid. You know lighter complected or mixed family members and so do I so that's why it was so convincing ah, and so the only thing that's going to be convincing the, the very argument and the very fact is the thing that gave you too. doubt you used them to convince your ex I did. and he fell for it but Mr. Fleeton you had no idea about the pregnancy or Kiesha being born no your honor Damn. you all had just fallen out I'm, well you don't even remember so I don't know why I'm asking yeah. you. <laughs> Ms. Reynolds, at some point you all had just parted ways or just it was it was a casual booty call thing and, and then you just it. stopped calling. Yes. He went to call. So when's the money. next time you connect with Mr. Fleet? Um, the next time I connected with him would have been when Kiesha was twelve years old. She was at um my daughter's friend's house, babysitting. And I didn't know that the daughter's friend was dating Mose at that time. Oh. Who were you told all your life your father was? The guy on my hey, bro. birth certificate. All I'm seeing is wrap your weenie up so and you ain't gonna be in a situation like this, man. Wrap yeah, y'all weenies up, man. What's the phone y'all? Y'all know people out there, they yeah. giving stuff away. Three ninety nine. Here, nigga. Burn. 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 You burn. You burn. You burn. Everybody gonna burn. Get a wrap y'all wings. You've explained why we do this every day. So wrap your wings. Wrap your wings. <laughs> I'm about to make a song for y'all boys to listen. So when's the next time you connect with Mr. Fleet? When Kiesha was twelve years old, she was at um, my daughter's friend's house babysitting. That's how you know they black. Like 12 years old babysitting. That's normal in a black household. So my daughter brought it to me. And I laughed it off. And I was, you know, just laughed it off. And I didn't say anything. But after a while, it clicked to me. Oh, my God. Because if it's that oh noticeable, my God. he have kids out here. What if she end up dating someone that could possibly be, be her, her cousin? Yeah, her I need brother. to contact him. Yeah. And I told him it's something that we need to talk not on Facebook, not on the phone, but in person. And he actually finally came to my house and we talked about it. And I told him that Kiesha could possibly be his child. And he said he didn't remember sleeping with me. And well, how long ago was it? I, said, oh, I don't well, remember sleeping with some know, people so I slept with. Taking it to my grave. If you tell me about it, I remember it. Point. So you basically were telling him to protect your daughter. Exactly. And once he said, I don't even remember you, you just said, you know what? I'm taking it to my grave. My ex has bought into the fact that he's her biological father. Yes. Just leave well enough alone. Yes. This is done. Yes. 
So Kia, that's his daughter, bro. Watch. I want to ask. Watch. Because this is very difficult. That's his daughter, bro. It's not easy. That's his daughter, bro. Can you tell the court? That's his daughter. Who were you told all your life your father was? Who were you told? The guy on my birth certificate, my mom's ex. But he was never in my life. And he always lied to me, said he was busy. I mean, I always wanted a father in my life from watching my sisters grow up with their father. You know, going just to spelling bees and walking Look, up to and the that's bus hurting stop, that man heart, bro. Get on the bus, it's you know, up. picking him up from the bus stop. You can tell that's that that man hurt right now. Yoder, Nasty, if by chance Carrie's is my biological daughter, if I would have knew back then, he would have been there. A totally different lifestyle. Exactly. Totally different. <laughs> Call my girl, too. This makes you. I see the tears in your eye. What, what's what's moving you so much, bro? What do you mean? A whole a whole kid, a whole kid, bro. Come on, what do you mean? What kind of question is that? Can you tell me how did you go from saying I don't even remember a relationship with? At first, I didn't believe old oh boy, but man, I see it. I can just see it in his eyes, bro. Cause I got a daughter. I know. You can see it in his eyes. You can tell that that lady is playing games. You can tell she's playing games, bro. Oh, and I got some studio life, bro. I know y'all make it like, hey, this more clear, more bright. Got studio life. Please tell me how did you go from saying I don't even remember a relationship with my mother to saying I don't even remember a relationship with my father? Let me hear. You know what I'm saying? If I would've knew back then, she would've had a totally different lifestyle. That's his daughter, bro. What's moving you so much? Can you put it into words? Since I met Keisha. Was the last six months? I've been there. She called. I'm not busy. I'm there. Her birthday party. I was there. I've been there since you know. The last six months since I found out. Can you tell me how did you reconnect? How did you go from saying I don't even remember a relationship with her mother to reconnecting and establishing? That's what he was lying about. What did I miss? I was walking out of. A clothing store. She was going in to the clothing store. And I just seen myself in her. And I stepped to her. And I said, I look like you look like you could be my baby. And I guess she went back home to her mom and and so did she met. When he said that I can see you were mm. emotional too, Kiasia, what did that feel like? I felt confused a little bit because you know i never had nobody as a father in my life and Ed. hard to discover new audiences it's time to try to bula that's his daughter bro Get it. i got kids of my own i want them to grow up with the grandfather and basically going down the right road and not the wrong road so mr fleeton why didn't you take the opportunity at 12 because i didn't remember Miss Mary. I didn't remember an encounter of having sex with Miss Mary. Was so drunk. How could I possibly have a But it's like something. you still don't remember it. And yet you've gone up to Kiesha and said you look like my baby and now you've got this whole relationship. That's with her. why I think he lied. I, I don't know. I missed about something. About the first part, by not I'm remember. I'm like that man I used to be back then. You know? Um, I've been right. through a lot. Through that time. I was ordained minister. Everybody. You Everybody know, so got been through a lot. How can I get out here and preach to, to somebody if I don't have my house in order? Exactly. So if it's a possibility that I slept with Miss Mary and I've created a daughter, I need to know. Hey. There you go. He couldn't say any better. I got goddamn results if I slept somebody, bro. For free. Fuck. You know. Thank you for your service. Right. And with all of that, you know you wouldn't be able to get back the last 20 years no man but your point is i want to make the next 20 better than the last yes ma'am so it's about it. don't worry about what you take control and why does that bring tears to your eyes because my baby right now wouldn't be having three kids single mom she would be in the college of military right now if i was there and I wanted to know that. I'm sorry, but I'm here now. 
Is there anything you'd like to say, Keisha? Would you like to say something to Mr. Fleeton? Well, I appreciate you a lot for being there for me and my kids, showing me to the family. And I just hope that you are my father because I want my kids to have a grandfather, you know. Hey, people talk like I'm that. Already, Papa. I want to slow. Um, I just I want to my... have him in my life. And yeah. I feel like that will be a good thing because she has so many male abandonment issues and she made so many bad choices in men. You know, during her lifetime. And that weighs on you, Mom, because you it feel does. like you had a part to play in that. It does. I oh, see it is okay. Everybody makes mistakes. The thing is, if you don't learn from it, it's not a mistake. And I, I made this choice to take it to my grave when actually, you know, it was just so many lives that are affected <laughs> behind this skeleton mm. there's so many lives not just hers mine his exactly the other right. the ex their family you know what i'm saying know, my family everybody take responsibility for their actions you know what i'm saying i'll say you might do something he did you, say she did something you, you know what i'm saying everybody did something is everybody fault the phenomenon that is paternity doubt secrets question and you've explained why we do this every day. So many lives. I want you all to be able to get to the phase of healing. And I don't think we can do that. Without we knowing these results. The truth. Exactly. Jerome, may I have the envelope, please? <laughs> these results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics. And they read as follows in the case of reynolds versus fleeton when it you comes to father. 20 year old keisha reynolds what? what i learned later what? when you make a website for your videos or for your work or whatever it has been determined by this court, Mr. Fleeton, you, hey, that's what we do, that's why we do it. Oh, that's it, that's, y'all drop down in the comments, let me know what y'all think, man, don't cheat. Call. Don't cheat. I have no recollection of ever having a sexual encounter with this man. Hot. But I'm unforgettable. It has been determined by this court. Let me hear, Judge. Mr. Fleeton, you are not the father. Oh my God. What? I'm very sorry, Keisha. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Of course. Anyway, baby. Don't always be. I was here and I didn't know. Hey, it is what it is, you man. Okay? At least you know now. At least I you know. I want to say I mean. this to you because you've been so strong, and I appreciate your strength. I admire you for it, but I do want to let you know. This you know that it is okay. It's not over. To express what you really feel, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, this is about you, and this is for you. You're gonna be okay. And guess what? And we're here for you. It is what it is. This you know is what I'm saying? The first step. We have many more to take. I need to ask your mother do you know who her biological father is? Nope. <laughs> ask, do you know where he is? Yes. I am well, going why are you to ask wasting, you, why are you wasting to time, have the brother? courage to have that very uncomfortable conversation with him. You never got the facts. Oh, and we're I guess here for he you wanted to know he to do the testing should you need it. Okay. As my mom used to say, well, ain't nothing to it but to do it. Hey, I got to find the second Thank episode. You. I'm going to see if they got a second hey, episode. That's, what we do. They found that's why we do it. For this beautiful young girl like this. And Dr. Jeff is standing by, and I really want you to talk to him. Okay? Yeah. Fuck Dr. Okay. Jeff. You need Dr. I wish you all Steel. the very best. This is some crap.
she should have. I don't know, bro. I mean, I wanted that to be his daughter. I don't know. I just saw a little bit of resemblance, but these goddamn paternity court, man. This this stuff be crazy, bro. I see why y'all like that. I get the most feedback I got was from the fighting videos and from the paternity court videos. But I can't do no more fighting videos because they age restricted me and giving me a red flag. And I, I don't know, bro, but man, as y'all see, I got the lights, as I said in the middle of the video. I'm about to get foam, I'm about to soundproof the room because it may sound like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to get a microphone. So it's about to be, you know what I'm saying? We, we going up, I'm about to get a new camera. I'm doing it off the phone right now, as y'all know, but we're about to get cracking, man. More videos coming, man. Sorry for having to take a break, but life is life. I got sick, you know what I'm saying? But if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the video, man, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you don't want to press subscribe, I mean to subscribe, oh, I just said it. If you don't want to press subscribe, you scrub, you know what I'm saying? But it's all good. I don't mind. Like, I don't care. Everybody not going to watch me, this beautiful face every day, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, man. Click that like button and stay tuned because we coming back to back to back.